here are some affirmations for confident women. I inhale confidence and exhale fear, pity, and doubt. Progress is better than perfection. I am superior to negative thoughts and actions. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah V. And today we're going to be talking about seven habits of highly confident women. So let's just get straight into it. If you want to start being a highly confident woman, the first habit that you're going to have to take up is to speak with confidence, speak with certainty. So you're going to have to start eliminating certain things from your speech like, I don't know, or I think so. Highly confident women know exactly what they want and they know how to articulate that. So let those things go out of your vocabulary. No more, I don't know, I think so, I'm not sure. Let that go. You are sure, you know what you want and you say exactly, and you know how to say what you want. To piggyback off of that, um, they also relabel um, failure. So instead of saying, oh, I failed, they'll say things like, I had a setback or there were challenges, or they'll call failures opportunities. So that's another way, when it comes to speech, to talk about your failures, not as failures, but as setbacks or challenges. Um, that's another habit of highly confident women that you should pick up. Okay, so the second thing is to not make um, decisions based off your emotions, but do it based off your values. So highly confident women they know that feelings are, are fleeting, like they'll go and come. So you don't make any decisions based off what you're feeling at the time. You make it solely based off what you value at your core. So it goes without saying, if you want to be a highly confident woman, you have to know what exactly you value. So when you're making decisions, you're not worrying about if you're happy, you're sad or whatever. You're doing it because, you know, trust, loyalty um, is your standard. There's a saying that goes, don't make permanent decisions off of temporary emotions. Um, and I feel like that's exactly what needs to be applied to this second tip. Don't make permanent decisions off temporary emotions. The third habit of a highly confident woman is they do not ask for permission. They do what they want to do. Um, highly confident women don't seek validation. They don't seek attention or praise from outside. Or they don't focus on those things. They just move how they want to move. So they're not going to be worried about like, oh, did this person see me? Do they know that I'm doing a good deed? Or do they know that I'm out here achieving my goals? No. <laughs> they're going to move how they want to move because they don't need validation from the outside world to do it. They know their goal. They know what they're trying to accomplish. And they're going to get it done. Regardless if you like it, you don't like it. They're not asking for permission. They're moving. I also want to include that highly confident women are not afraid of failure. Once you get over that fear of failure and you know that failure is basically going to help you get closer to what you want to achieve because now you know the the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Every Whatever you failed at, that's obviously the wrong road. So you need to change, change your route and start taking a different route to get to your goal. And highly confident women know that. They understand this concept. So they move without needing permission from anybody because... If you wait for somebody's permission all the time to make choices or to do things, it's going to take you a long time because you're going to be waiting on somebody else's time. And people don't, people are not going to take things as seriously as you want to take them. The fourth thing is highly confident women celebrate other women. They celebrate other people. I think the main reason why highly confident women do this is because you and they understand that someone else's success is just confirmation that their success is coming. So you see someone else work has someone else has worked hard, they achieved what they needed to achieve and now they're like at the point where they're it's their due season. You're like, "Okay, well, I'm working hard, I'm putting in the, the effort, so mine should be on the way too." They understand that, so they're able to clap for someone cuz you know your time is coming. Why am I going to be worried about someone else's success that has nothing? It's not, it's like irrelevant to me. It has nothing to do with me. It only stands really as confirmation that if I keep putting in the hard work, that I'm going to get to where I need to, to be too. And one day people are going to be celebrating with me. If you think about insecure women, it's the complete opposite. Insecure women will use someone else's success as confirmation that they haven't achieved their goals, that they're left, be they're left behind. They're still like 
not making any progress and that's the difference so, so understand that if you want to pick up the habit of a confident woman you have to be clapping for other people you have to be happy to see other people succeed the fifth habit of a highly confident woman is to listen. I had a friend tell me once, um, I don't have to be the loudest in the room in order to be seen. And I was like, oh, okay, that's like a good little, you know, saying right there. I like that. And I adopted that over time. I was like, yeah, I don't have to be the loudest in the room for people to know I'm in the room. I think that's one of the habits of highly confident women that I appreciate the most. You don't have to make noise in order for people to know that you're there. You just being who you are, listening, taking in the room, taking everything in the room, um, gives you that like aura of being confident. Um, because people, when they, when you actually start to speak, and especially if you can articulate yourself, they will listen because you don't speak often. So now is your time to talk. You know, they're like, okay, well, you know, she's, what, what does she have to say? And once you start to listen, you start to see people for who they are because people love to talk. They're going to talk about themselves. You get to take in who, who the people are that are around you. And then you know how to carry yourself amongst those people. So I think there's so many benefits to just listening and not speaking. Um, and as a highly confident woman, it's probably going to be one of like the best traits that you or habits that you can pick up. Number six, highly confident women ask for help. There's a saying that goes, a wise man knows that he knows nothing. Um, and as a person who is who wants to be highly confident, you have to understand that you don't know everything. It's OK to ask for help in the areas that you're weak in. There's things that over time, because you're just one person, it took a lot of time for you to develop. So say like you're a hairstylist or you're a makeup artist or you do nails or um, you work in a certain like industry. It took you a long time to develop and understand and master those things. So other people have done the same things, but in different areas, areas that maybe you haven't gotten to. So you definitely can use those people as resources to help you become a better person. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to know everything. That's why it's, that's what we're all here for, to take different aspects of our world and we come together and we help each other. And a highly confident woman understands that. You're able to ask for help and use other people as resources and they're able to help you to become a better person or to accomplish your goals. And the final habit is highly confident women are self-compassionate. They don't beat themselves up. They don't talk down to themselves and say things like, oh, um, I'm so stupid. Why would I do some stupid stuff like that? I'm so dumb. All of that is beating yourself up. At the end of the day, if something happens and you're not able to um, accomplish whatever it is that you try to accomplish, you don't have to like, you know, put yourself down or beat yourself up because the, like I said in, in the beginning, failure is just an opportunity for you to do something different, for you to change course. It's a learning opportunity. It's a learning experience. Um, there, I know I've been giving you a lot of things in this <laughs> um, video, but this other saying goes, even if you fall off the wagon, you don't have to roll around in the mud. So basically saying like, yeah, we all going to fall off at the end of the day, like, but just get back up get on the horse or the wagon or whatever and keep pushing you don't have to sit down there and wallow in it or make yourself feel dumb because i think like people understand everyone makes mistakes and it's better if you just pick yourself up and move forward um and it takes a lot less time away from you pitying yourself or doubting yourself so those are the habits of highly confident women I hope some of them were able to help you um, and assist you in becoming a highly confident woman. <laughs> um, so tell me what you think down below. Let me know which habit you're going to adopt or which ones you have already. Like maybe you got them down pack. You're like, oh, I know these. I already move like that. I already carry myself in that way. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.